disintegration. So, as you will. Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name's Luke, and today's video is going to be covering um, the new key positions, so to speak, um, which is the evaporators um, objective scenario. So, if you can remember back in the old days uh, when we had key positions, the, the first version of it, um, blue player was pretty much an auto win on it, and you had everybody, you know, saying, oh, we're going to stop playing this game, it's terrible, like, this is broken, everything like that. What? This is outrageous. It's unfair. But FFG came out and they fixed it up and, you know, everything's okay now. It's not an auto win for blue player uh, anymore. Um, but now we have a new scenario uh, where it's blue player on sabotage and it's nowhere near as bad. Um, but it is a little unfair, I think. There is... A huge advantage to being blue player on that objective I don't think it's insane though but it's definitely uh, there so basically what it is is that you have blue player has basically uh, their evaporators and they're gonna be able to usually place them in a safe spot and then red player you know places there to on their side of the map or whatever so what it comes down to is we we each have our safe uh, objectives so we can both do them you know and put the wounds on or repair them and then we're gonna tie on victory points and this usually always happens um, and then what happens in competitive tournaments is when you tie on the victory points it then goes to kill points and so, blue player has the advantage there because, okay, red player has to be attacking, right? And usually the attacking player um, just has less of an opportunity to really win. Um, you know, there's other games like Flames of War where they have attacking and defending scenarios, but they take that into account and give the defender less points or maybe they don't have full force right on deployment things like that where in legion in the scenario scenario of evaporators each player has their full force out there on the board and pretty much it's just the blue player just has to sit there and cap their objectives and just not let anything die which isn't too tough of a task um but it makes it really tough on the red player. So I don't think that it's really um, unwinnable. You have to know as red player right away. As soon as you see the sabotage in the third slot over, you know, from battle card placement, if they tap the first uh, card you know so now there's only one card in between that and the evaporator you gotta be thinking right away okay what's the best deployment for me or what's the best condition type that will be able to pressure the evaporators because that's really your best chance at winning is actually using the um, conservativeness of the blue player because they don't want anything to die, right? So they're going to be playing very conservative with all their units. So if you can use that to your advantage and kind of go on the aggressive play and try and, you know, hold them away from their objective, maybe if it's a little too far out there or they're not pushing for it or it's just in a bad spot and you can really push with your full force, you're going to have to know that right away. Um, you can't be, you know, sitting back in your deployment zone just kind of hanging out because then you're going to give yourself no time 
and really no chance at winning. Um, so yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. If you can pick off a unit, obviously do that and then retreat because now you're up on points. Um, the thing about that though is that you have to completely kill a unit. So even if there's just one unit leader left of that unit, it does not count for any points. Um, the entire unit has to be off the board. So that's pretty tough, especially like even snipers because, you know, they're just going to hide one or maybe not even bring any out at all. But if they hide one, so you kill one unit and then the rest of the game or one model from the unit. So the rest of the game, they're just going to hide the other unit or model behind you know line of sight or whatever so is it even worth shooting the sniper in a way it is because it still is because you know now it just completely takes them out of the game um, I don't think anyone would really risk putting the bringing the model out to shoot so they're just gonna you know stand by dodge the, for the rest of the game um, so yeah it's just really important when you're red player and you see the sabotage in the third slot that you're looking at everything else and if they don't um if they don't hit or flip over you know the first slot the first card with their you know their first um ability to um discard or whatever then you do not touch the objective row because if you if you then flip it over now they still have a chance to get there if you don't though, and they didn't on their first action, then that was their mistake, and you should not give them the chance to get back uh, to sabotage because that's just basically it's not it's not an auto win, but it is super tough to overcome, especially if you're playing against a good player. If you're evenly matched in skill, it should pretty much always go to the blue player I think but like I said you can use the advantage of knowing that blue player is going to be very conservative they're not going to want to throw out their guys you know they're not going to try and take shots that they normally might so you can use that to your advantage and kind of pressure their evaporators and another thing being that you don't want to give them like advanced positions because that is probably the best deployment uh, for blue player because it's so far the uh, deployments are so far that they can just put them like one and one from the corner um, so definitely don't give them advanced Another reason why advance is bad is because it gives everyone scout. Now that might help you advance into them, but it doesn't really because you're just so far away. It also takes up clock time, which is uh, pretty important, especially being red player on the evaporators. You need to get through all six turns almost, unless you can just kind of snipe a guy and then you retreat back, but usually you need all six rounds. Um, you also don't want to give the opponent the scout move because now on first turn they can just complete all their objectives and then focus on defending where with like major offensive or anything like that any of the other uh, objectives they they have to double move right because um, range one out of deployment is actually uh, just far enough where it takes two moves to get to the objective you know and touch it in base contact so they can't complete the objective right away turn one unless they have a bunch of recon intel um, and then with that said I think recon intel is huge if you have it or if you have snipers as red player you might consider just doing the objectives with your snipers because they can scout one or two and then they can move and just do the objectives right away turn one and that'll give you 
that'll give you an advantage over the other player because now your objectives are complete and then you can just focus on pressuring their objectives right um which i think is one of the one of your best plays is trying to pressure their objective another thing that you can do as red player because they have to be two away from each other range two away from each other as well as range one out of deployment there are some situations where you can kind of deny good positions um, usually this doesn't really work out that well because now you're putting your objective too far out there and you might not be able to do yours so it only really works if you can like put it in a forward position behind like line of sight blocking or something like that so that can help you knowing that the, you can create kind of like this uh dead space that they can't put objectives but it usually doesn't really work out that well i mean the board is so big it, they can usually find another good spot but it can work so you know keep that in mind that kind of um area denial that you can use with your own objectives um i think if you're if the opponent has limited visibility it might be a good idea to go with that just so that you can double move the first two turns and not take any fire or at least the first turn and not take any fire and that will help you apply pressure to the objectives because now you're pretty close um you're pretty close to their objective so you can blast anything away that goes for it um so limited viz is pretty good minefield might be pretty good for you um depending on if you're rebels or empire empire has that better i think but uh but you can kind of set it up so that their objectives they can't get to for free they're going to take some hits from the the mind um so yeah just know that you're going to have to be on the the uh, aggressive side from it i don't think it's i don't think it's unwinnable you know it's not it's not a type of thing where we're going to have crazy 20 point 20 to 25 point bids anymore but um there's definitely a, a huge advantage for blue player. Um, I think everyone should definitely have Sabotage in their deck just because it's so hard to win as a red player. Um, so yeah. And if you are a blue player, just play defensively. I mean, there's no reason for you to really go out there. Um, like I said, don't be so conservative that you're not taking shots like you normally would because you know they they can just kind of just steamroll over you if you're too conservative if that makes sense um so that can kind of come back to bite you uh but yeah so just be aware of it guys and good luck see ya